Hello friends, welcome to my channel on Advanced Excel. In today's video, our goal is to append this uh, midterm and final column, that is this and this, and then to sort them from uh, smallest to largest. Okay. Now, sir, uh, now the long cut would have been, say, I'll copy, I'll select this uh, midterm column values, and I'll paste special value over here, then I'll select uh, final column values separately. And I'll put them below this uh, midterm column again, pay special value, and then I am sorting them, pressing Control, uh, sorry, Alt D S uh, on the keyboard, and uh, sm smallest to largest, smallest to largest. This is how we can do, but uh, it is uh, it involves three steps, isn't it? First, we copied this midterm uh, column values, then we copied this uh, final column values, and then we sorted them from smallest to largest. But we do not want that three steps. We want it to be done in single step using array. So how we can do? First, first of all, we know that these columns are apart from each other, so they are not continuous. They are not adjacent. But they are simply away from each other with these two columns in between. So I am selecting this midterm column values. So control shift down arrow. And now I am holding down, down this control key and selecting this range of values of this uh, final column. And now I am giving both these uh, columns a name. I will give it a name range R R N G R N G and enter. And now if I go to this name box and select that R N G you will see uh, the Excel has selected uh, these uh, different columns or different values or the columns which are not adjacent to each other and it has given that two different ranges a common name uh, that we have uh, given and that uh, name is RNG. Now we will use this uh, RNG name uh, inside small and we will use array and uh, we will have our result. So let us see how. So now this each column has eight values. Here it is 8 values. So I am selecting 16 rows. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And now I will start with small is equal to SM small. My array is this uh, name which we have given. Now it consists of values under this uh, midterm column and final column. So it is over. And in this K into curly brackets, I am giving uh, 1 semicolon 2 semicolon 3, semicolon 4, semicolon 5, semicolon 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and I am completing this uh, curly brackets and I am completing uh, parenthesis for small. Now in my uh, array video I have said that uh, when you want result of your uh, array function to spill like across uh, the rows that is vertically you have to use semicolon and when you want it to spill across co columns that is horizontally you have to use comma so uh, thing, things are okay I am pressing control shift and enter to tell excel that it is an array function control shift enter and here you have okay so in a one step we have not just appended this mid column and final column together or uh, below each other we have also sorted uh, those columns or those values. So this is my first approach. The second approach is we can do it without uh, using array function and let's see it out. So I am saying say small. I will start with small. My array is the name which we have given to those different ranges. It's a combined name to two different columns. So tab. And now for uh, this k, that is uh, whether we want uh, the first smaller, uh, uh, first smaller, second small, uh, as the case may be. I am using row function, only row. So right now my cursor is sitting in row number six. So uh, first five rows are not uh, relevant to our uh, database. So I am reducing five from here. I am completing parenthesis and enter. Here it is and Control C. Go to the last cell of that adjacent column. Control Shift up arrow and enter. So this is how you can use array function inside small or array feature inside small and uh, uh, have uh, the result sorted and that two of those columns which are not at all adjacent to each other. And if you don't want to use array, you can still give the name as we have given and simply use row minus five. So each time it uh, gets to the next cell, uh, the row function will uh, produce result two. So, so right now uh, say I am in this cell. So say one, sorry, one, two, three, and four. 
so the result of this row minus 5 will be 4 if then here it is okay so friends this brings me to the end of this video if you have liked this video do give me a thumbs up also subscribe uh, subscribe to my channel leave comment if you know any other way of uh, achieving the same result share my videos with your friends so even they are benefited and hit that bell icon to get future updates i am leaving a link of this excel file uh, in the description box for you to download and practice take care bye